Hey guys, welcome to my hair's interesting. I kind of just woke up, but welcome to the start of my Cramathon vlog. Welcome to Cramathon. I mean, not okay, that sounded weird. Um, Cramathon has started. Um, if you don't know, I host it with some of my friends. I'll have my announcement video and my TBR link down below because I don't feel like going through all that again. But yes, very excited to host another round um so this morning i woke up in the middle of the night i woke up at like three and i was up for about an hour and a bit so i like went on the twitter and i said like hey and like did all that stuff but then i started reading this book last night and i read like 20 pages and then i ended up finishing it in the middle of the night and so it was for cramathon because like i was reading it at like 3 a.m but <laughs> it's um the little book of witchcraft look how pretty it is yes so this is basically just a book that has to do with like witchcraft so it's like about spells um it didn't have to do with tarot but it's about like spells a bit of history um modern day witchcraft and that kind of thing white magic all that kind of stuff and i really really enjoyed this one i thought it was like really informative um and it went into more detail than some of the other books that i've read about this topic like and the spells and everything and it was just super interesting and like so like aesthetically pleasing too like it has like quotes in it i'll try to show you guys like it has Is that better? yeah so like witchcraft was hung in history but history and i find all the witchcraft that we need around us every day and i have like a brief history um more quotes like I would talk about the symbols and chakras and mm, it was so good. I like this a lot. This, I don't know if I'm counting this for any of the challenges or not. My lens cap, A. Eh? Um, but I mean, if I don't read all the books on my TBR, then I will like probably fit this into a challenge because I could, but I gave this four stars. Really enjoyed it. I'm very happy with it because this is like my first like four star book of the month because I've read three other books and they're all like three star reads for me so i'm glad to have like a good book <laughs> like a better book this month something that i really enjoyed so yeah if you guys are interested in this topic pick it up it was great since i vlogged so much at BookCon in like those three days in new york city it felt so weird not vlogging every day so i was like like what like it felt so weird not vlogging every day so if i'm a little bit off in this vlog or something like i'm just trying to get back into the swing of things like get back into the reading vlog like i was used to like the daily vlogger thing like vlogging down the street and stuff so yeah but it is currently about nine o'clock because i fell back asleep for a few hours but i've been up for a long time like i was up for a big chunk in the middle of the night but i think i'm going to make my bed because that bothers me um it's sunday so i'm not at school so i'm gonna make my bed probably have coffee i'm going to probably get dressed in something comfortable and like less ugly probably tie my hair because like it's in my face <laughs> um i have a video that i could edit i'll probably edit that later there's some schoolwork i have to do as well but yes for next book i'm hoping to start snot girl and finish that and then like i don't know like i feel like since this is a free day kind of for me like i should start something bigger so i think i'm gonna like read like snot girl maybe read binti and then like get halfway through like saints and misfits or like something else maybe i don't know <laughs> so we'll see oh you guys love the cat let me show you he's um, really annoying but rudy hey hey babs rudy oh he's coming up hey 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 say hi or he's just gonna show his ass Hey guys, so it is almost 1 p.m. I've been doing sprints for like a few hours, I think. Um, they went pretty well. I just wrapped up a set of sprints because I'm going to go take a break. I have to do some housework, help out, probably eat soon. Family's coming over, so I'm really excited about that. But I did end up finishing 
I did end up finishing Snot Girl and I ended up giving this one like a 3.25, 3.5 ish. I really liked it. the art styles. Like I enjoyed it. The art style was like really nice and it like kept me engaged. It was a little bit confusing at times, but the art style was beautiful. Um, and yeah, but some aspects of it were just really irritating and overdramatic. So yeah. And then just now I ended up finishing Binti, which I'm going to just think about this one a little bit and then write my review when I get back and when I have time to do that. But I really enjoyed it. It was like a little space novella. It was really interesting and it was perfect for like what I was in the mood for and it was like a perfect little sci-fi book so I'm going to tell you guys more about this one later and my rating and stuff but yes time to go take my break because I've been sprinting a lot yay hello so it is about 9 p.m now still on day one and I didn't tell you guys about my thoughts on Binti but I've been like co constantly updating on Twitter and doing sprints all day so <laughs> I feel like I'm being repetitive, but like you guys won't see this till another week and like I don't know if you follow me on Twitter and all that, but I ended up giving this book four stars I decided. For such a small book, it was so interesting, such a cool concept, super engaging, like I couldn't believe how easily I got into this and it's like it's sci-fi too, it's not like it's contemporary, like it's legit sci-fi and I was able to like get right into it and like get attached to the story and I'm interested to see where it goes. I'll just definitely be picking up the next one. Um, I wanted a bit more development with the main character, but again, it's super short. It's a novella, but I still loved it. I gave it four stars. It was like the perfect little sci-fi read and I really enjoyed it. So now I'm on to my fourth book. So I'm reading Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. This book, I'm making notes on my phone. I did it. I made notes with Snot Girl on my phone and I'm finding that really good because I love like handwritten notes, but my phone is something I'll always have with me if I'm out or if whatever. And so yeah, this is a sequel to Burned. It deals with, I've, I already made a list of trigger warnings because I'm noticing so many along the way, which I expected because Ellen Hopkins usually writes about a lot of dark stuff. So it's um, a dense one for sure with the subject matter, but I am that far into it. So I think that's about two. 200 on, I'm on page 202 which is pretty good so this is about 500 pages maybe I'll get to like 250 tonight or 300 and then finish it up tomorrow or I'll just binge it tonight I don't know it's like 9 p.m um but yeah my day was pretty good three books down three and like a quarter down um would you say that's a quarter that's like a third yeah that's a third um down I sprinted the majority of the day which i was really happy with um i actually really like doing those it's just um like i f i forgot how much fun they were to do it's just i get carried away with them and i'll be doing them for so long and then one of the other hosts has to be like hey can i like host sprints like you're taking over the twitter they don't actually say that to me but like i i'm like i don't mean to like take over the twitter i'm sorry um <laughs> but yes i had a good day with like family and yeah, it was a good Sunday. Usually Sundays are really difficult days for me, but today was a decent day, at least at this point. Um, but I'm listening to music. I was actually watching some booktube just now. I took a bit of a break. I was watching some booktube. I'm watching Haley and Bookland's vlogs because I get so, like, I love them so much. So I save them and then I watch them and I realize I'm like four behind. So like I watched one earlier and I'm watching one now and it just gives me like motivation to read even though like I'm not reading, but it gives me motivation to read eventually. Um, so yeah, that's my little update. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Wow, I look interesting. Anyways, it is Monday. Um, I updated you guys on Binti last and just said I was like a third of the way through Burned, I believe. I, and I didn't make any progress that night on Burned, but today it is what, like six? And I started the audiobook actually for another book on my TBR, Saints and Misfits, and I'm halfway done that. So I think I have like four hours, but I listen to it at two times the speed, so I have two hours left, so I can knock that down. My goal is to finish that tomorrow and then finish Burn tonight if I can. Um, I'm doing so much stuff right now because it's such a busy time of year, and I just kind of like it. I knew exams were coming, and then I realized that I have one next Thursday. <laughs> and I kind of want to cry about it. So by the time you're watching this, I'm probably 
no, I'll try to get this up, but I'm probably like very close to exams. So wish me luck if you feel like it. <laughs> but so I am like doing reading sprints right now. I am listening to my audiobook. I edited a video. I <laughs> I've been doing so much. I edited a video. Um, it's currently uploading. I did the thumbnail. Um, as soon as it's uploaded, I need to add the cards. Um, make sure it's scheduled to go up tomorrow morning. Get that up for you guys. Um, I am gonna, right now, I set an hour reading sprint, so I'm going to stop listening to my audio because I hit my halfway point, which was my goal for the day. And then I'm going to grab some of my English notes and like work on my essay outline and stuff probably for about an hour. I'm gonna try to work on it for, and then come back and see what else. But like I'm doing like a billion things at once and I'm like trying like every little bit of time I have, I'm like trying to listen to the audiobook, but like sometimes you can't listen to an audiobook while you're doing stuff like I can't listen to an audiobook while I'm doing homework unless it's like mindless ho homework or like something that I'm really good at that I can do kind of mindlessly then I can but like I want to focus on my essay so yes I hope you guys are all doing well for Cramathon it's been so much fun hosting and yeah I've just been running a lot of sprints which is okay but I want to like like I want to run sprints and like I want to like talk with you guys and like I want to do all this stuff and then I'm like dying over here <laughs> so we'll try I'll see you guys in a bit hello so I did an update yesterday but it is Wednesday the 13th of June and well obviously of June um I did finish the audiobook for Saints and Misfits yesterday I the lighting's so weird I did like this one I didn't like it that much though unfortunately I'll have all my like I'll have my Goodreads obviously linked down below like it always is if you want to check out like my mini reviews but I just didn't I don't know like I could appreciate getting a teenage female Muslim perspective and some of the story with that this does have triggers for rape and sexual assault as well but there was just a lot of things about this story that I just didn't love unfortunately and yeah the audiobook was okay it was fine like I think I'm giving it like 2.5 to 3 stars it was okay but I don't know it it's not I don't in my opinion I don't like I I'm not I didn't love it as much as everybody else seems to and then this morning at 5 a.m because I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like let's do reading sprints so shout out to you all who joined me at like 5 um it could have been different time zones for you obviously but I it was like 4 4 a.m for me or five so it was pretty early but i ended up finishing smoke by ellen hopkins so i have five books done which is awesome and technically i only have to read two more but i have like three that i can read and now i'm gonna have a fourth one i'll show you in a second but i finished smoke this is a sequel to burned this has a lot of trigger warning so please be aware of that but i I'm still gonna think about my rating for this one. I'm not really sure what I'm going to give it. It was good. I think it's gonna be like a 3.25 or like a 3.5. I still have to write my review for it. But yes, I finished this this morning. So like, I'm so happy with my reading and how I've been doing. And I feel like so much happier when I'm reading more. Like you guys have like, when I'm not reading a lot, my mood is very different than when I'm reading all the time because it's something I enjoy obviously and it makes me happy and feels like accomplished and I feel accomplished and good about it and whatever right it just improves my mood a lot so that's good obviously um then I quickly went to Indigo today after school I love how I'm just like blocking my face out um I went to Indigo today after school so I picked up a book and then I also got a book sent by a publisher that came in the mail tonight which I'm so happy about I was so excited I am so excited so the book that I got from the publisher was Planting Gardens and Graves Volume 2 by R.H. Sin so this was sent to me by Andrew Smith Mule Publishing so thank you so so much to them I got the email that they were sending this that sh this should be on its way um and it just came the day like that I got the email which was today and I'm so happy about it I'm so excited I love R.H. Sin's work he writes poetry collections um he writes great poetry I really enjoy his stuff if you've been here you know that but this comes out on July 10th I believe so thank you so much to them for sending me an early copy and I'm probably going to read this for the readathon probably most likely um or I'm going to save it I don't know yet but I love it and I I'm so happy about it anyways ooh, the back says the trouble is you think loving him harder will make him fall for you but it won't yikes so then from indigo <clears throat> I picked up 
The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. This just came out recently and I believe this is about um, Never Believe Your Own Lies, Harriet Westaway, better known as Hal, makes ends meet as a tarot reader, which that's what really got me to buy it and I've all, Lala said good things about this one as well. So <clears throat> it's a thriller obviously, a mysterious and unexpected leather, breathing her inherit something but in her inheritance she know that wasn't meant for her because mrs westaway is not her grandmother struggling with crippling debt hal is presented with a difficult choice ignore the letter or use her cold reading skills to potentially claim the money and change her future and then there's a whole other aspect to it but like i don't want to read like too many of like i don't want to read too much of the synopsis because like sometimes thrillers like spoil their own like they you know i just don't want to know too much so yeah i'm very excited about this one but yes i hope you are all doing well with the readathon i'm having a really good time hosting it and because this is like such a stressful like few weeks for me with like exams and culminating this is kind of keeping me like stable like i know sometimes i would not be able to do read this much or vlog this much while this stuff is going on but it's been like a good support for me so like i appreciate that obviously so yeah i'm probably going to well, I'm gonna like shower now. I have to write my review for Burned. I have to update the Twitter thread for that. Um, obviously school stuff, but I'm just telling you the stuff you're probably interested in, which is the bookish and booktube stuff. Um, I want to plan a video. That would be really nice. I should plan a video. And I have to start a new book, so I'm probably going to start... I don't know. I also have Lee on the Offbeat on audio, so I could do that. Um, but I have undead girl gang every heart of doorway and down among the sticks and bones i'm probably going to be read those two little ones uh, every heart of doorway and the companion on like saturday because then i can binge them back to back Hey guys, so it has been a few days. It is now Saturday. Um, I didn't vlog the last few days actually. Well, you could probably tell by the date, but anyways. Um, the readathon ends like tonight at like 11.59 p.m. So like, I'm not gonna read anything else today. And if I do, like, I won't finish anything else today. And I didn't end up reading Undead Girl Gang or Down Among the Sticks and Bones or Every Heart and Doorway. Um, but I read my seven books or my seven things because I read some graphic novels some poetry I wrote a wide range of stuff and I'm like pretty happy with it because considering like exams are so close right now for me like I have an exam on Wednesday and one on Thursday and then the next week I have one on Tuesday so like I'm just like considering I've been reading so much during this time has been like very therapeutic for me but like now I need to like really like push it aside or like not worry too much not that i was worrying but like still okay <laughs> makes sense hopefully but yes i am gonna just kind of wrap up the books i read weird angle whatever so i'm gonna link my twitter thread down below in case you guys like follow me on twitter then this is just gonna be so repetitive so i'm just gonna link that down below if you want to know like certain ratings or like my goodreads reviews and stuff this lighting is horrible oh my god okay so I don't think I updated you guys on like the last two things I read. So I ended up reading Open Earth and this cover up like the shadow. Um, this I got at BookCon and this is like an arc. It's literally a erotic space thing. Um, the art in it is really nice. I really like the art. Um, it is explicit, so keep that in mind. But it was good. It was like fun and easy read, but like the plot they're like there wasn't much plot and i know it's like a first volume so like if i can remember to pick up the other ones i will like when they come out and stuff but like if you're interested in it check it out i don't know how much this is gonna go for regular but 20 bucks i don't know it releases in september but if you're interested in it well erotic space thing but there isn't much like sci-fi like it's just about romance and relationships and stuff so if you're into that sure but i think i give it like three stars it's okay um and then 
I think I showed you guys this. Honestly, I don't know what I showed you. But this is uh, Plenty Gardens of Grey's Volume 2. I was sent this by the publisher. I was so, so happy about it. Um, I read this one and I really, really liked it. Um, the first book, the Planting Gardens of Grey's Volume 1, was like a 4.5 star read for me. And this one is about there as well. I love his collections. They're very simple and that's something you should know going into them. They're pretty simple, like they're just a few lines, but they always like hit close to home. And like if you've been through anything like tragic or anything like that or I don't know, from like breakups to death to like personal struggles, like this tackles it. And I really enjoyed that. And so I tabbed my favorite along the side and then I tapped my, my my main favorites on the top so this was really good for me and I really enjoyed this I love this author like I was reading like some negative reviews about this book as well like after I wrote mine and actually I don't even think I've written mine yet anyways I probably should do that um I was reading some negative reviews and they were like you know like they're too simple and stuff like that but like they're like this, right? But like, I personally love his writing style and like love the messages and how it feels like it's directed towards you and how like, like just read one and then see because like, I personally love his stuff. And then you guys saw that I read Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. So all the, by the way, these in the challenges, like I'm just gonna link them to some challenge. Like I don't really care about completing all the challenges, but Smoke by Ellen Hopkins, read this one. It was decent like a 3.25 I think this was really fun this was um, the book of witchcraft this was like the first thing that I read and I gave it like four stars it was a, like a very good like just little guide to get into it binti I was very surprised with um, I gave this four stars as well it was a little novella space I want the next one it was pretty good I enjoyed it Saints and Misfits I listened to the audiobook of I didn't love this I thought it was like okay like it was okay. Um, I think I've read more hard-hitting stories about topics such as like sexual assault and rape um, and like it was interesting getting like a Muslim teenage perspective because that's not something we see all the time but I don't know. I just didn't love it and the main character I didn't really like often and yeah it just wasn't my thing I guess. I do want to read more books with like Muslim teenagers because like a lot of my friends um, are like Muslim so I want to read more about that and like read more about their culture and like not just stuff I hear from my friends but like read books and stuff about it as well so yes and then lastly I read Snot Girl which this was <laughs> really weird and it's very confusing as what the hell happened but it's it's pretty good and the art style is probably one of my favorite art styles I've seen. Like it's gorgeous and vibrant and it's so pretty. I really liked it and I wrote like a whole review on this and like I it's signed as well for me because I got it at BookCon but yeah this was really interesting. I am going to pick up volume two. I don't know how much are these. 99 about $10 USD. That's not that bad. Um. So it's probably like what like 14 Canadian which I mean it is a lot for graphic novels like graphic novels are pretty expensive um so I'm probably going to get the second one and read that eventually so yeah so there you guys have it that was my cramathon I think I'm actually really happy with how it went for me personally the month before this what in May I didn't read that much and I just didn't feel like myself because of it and I felt a little off so to be able to read this many books in like four days because I didn't even read much the last few days um it was really good for me and even though some of them were like graphic novels and poetry like I'm still happy with the amount I read and there was like a wide variety of stuff I liked some things I disliked some things like it was a pretty good mix so I'm super happy with it and I hosted a lot of sprints I made sure that I was hosting sprints like whenever I had free time or like literally like whenever I was doing like homework I was like okay we're gonna do a 20 minute sprint let's go <laughs> and like I wouldn't read but I'd like host it for you guys but yes I'm very happy with that and thank you to everyone who participated in the Cramathon I really appreciate it and I love interacting with everyone on the Twitter and like I'm gonna end up
sky, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> so, I'll see you guys all super soon. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you want me to do more of them, let me know down below. If you like this vlog, comment a green heart because I was like just looking at Snot Coral. So comment a green heart or just comment like green heart. So I know you made it to the end. I used to do that with my vlogs. Okay. So yeah, I'll see y'all super soon. Bye. Bye to my